Welcome to this mail merge tutorial. You'll need a letter template and a data source consisting of an Excel file with your contact data. If you need help creating the data source, check out video one in the series on creating a data source. When doing a mail merge, you'll need to have two items ready to go. One is an Excel file with your list of contacts, their contact information, and one more column which you'll need to type in, and that's the contact's profession along with an A or AN, whichever is appropriate. In this case, it's A florist and AN accountant. You'll see why in just a few minutes. Across the top row of your columns should be headers which represent the data in the column. In this example, for this letter, you'll need first name, last name, company, street line 1, street line 2, city, state, zip code and profession. I'm going to change this header to province in order to show you something later. Once your Excel file is complete, save it and set it aside. I'll save it to my desktop so I can easily find it when I need it. Next, open up your Word document with your completed letter. The red text is text that will need to be populated. First, fill in the information that applies to you that's going to be in each and every letter. For this letter, type in your name for underneath your signature, your title, and your email address. You don't need your company here because you're going to be printing on your letterhead. Come up here and type in your phone number. Then just grab this text and change it all to black or automatic. And that's it. Mail Merge will do the rest. To begin Mail Merge, come up to the top and click on Mailings. Come over to Start Mail Merge, click on it, and you get a drop down with several options. In this case, we're doing a letter, so click on that. Next, Go to Select Recipients. Click on that and you'll get a drop down with a few options. In this case, we want to use Existing List. This is where you'll browse to your Excel file that has your contacts information on it. Again, I put mine on my desktop. Find it. Click on it. Click Open. And OK. Now Mail Merge has associated this letter with the contacts file. Now you can start populating the merge fields. Here you have the options of address block, greeting line, and then a list of fields which are pulled right from the top row of your Excel file. Remember where I changed that column header to province? There it is. As well as profession which we'll use later. Let's start with the address block. First delete this since it will create one for you. This is only here to help you see what's going where. Select it, go up and click on address block. Now you have the option of having recipient's name, yes, company name, yes, postal address, yes, and then come over here and see a preview of the first record. You have their name, company name, city, state, and zip. But for some reason it's not pulling the street address. So come down here and click on match fields. You see first name, last name, city, state, and zip. But the street address has not been matched up. No problem, just click on the drop down, find street 1, and match it up. Same with street 2, and OK. Now preview the address blocks for each of your letters. You can see it's now put in the street along with the rest of the address. Now as you can see it's put in an address block and what you can do is come up here to preview results and it'll preview the results that you've created. You can flip through the different letters and see how the uh, address blocks have been added. 
Now let's add the greeting. Delete the placeholder text. Come up here and click on greeting line. This will give you a few options. Let's do dear. And here let's choose just the first name. And then choose from either a comma or a colon. Personally I prefer the comma. You can then preview the greetings for the letters here and they look good. Finally we need to populate their profession in two places. This is where the A and the AN come into play. Select the red placeholder text and delete it. Go up to insert merge field. Select the field you want. In this case profession. And you may have to add the space. Now let's do the other one the same way. Select it. Delete it. Insert merge field. And add the space if necessary. Now the only thing left to do is to delete the reminder to print the letter on your letterhead. And that's it. Mail Merge has created separate letters for each of the contacts on the list. To preview them, go up to the top and scroll the, through them. If you're ready to print and your letterhead is in the printer, come over to Finish and Merge, click Print Documents, and OK. I hope you found this helpful. My name is Dwayne. Thanks for listening.